Iron Overload, Wikipedia Audio Iron Overload, also known as hemochromatosis, indicates accumulation of iron in the body from any cause. The most important causes are hereditary hemochromatosis, a genetic disorder, and transfusional iron overload, which can result from repeated blood transfusions. Organs commonly affected by hemochromatosis are the liver, heart, and endocrine glands. Hemochromatosis may present with the following clinical syndromes. Signs and Symptoms The causes can be distinguished between primary cases and less frequent secondary cases. People of Celtic, English, and Scandinavian origin have a particularly high incidence of whom about 10% are carriers of the C282Y mutation on the HFE gene associated with HLAA3 and 1% have the condition. Although it was known most of the 20th century that most cases of hemochromatosis were inherited, they were incorrectly assumed to depend on a single gene. The overwhelming majority depend on mutations of the HFE gene discovered in 1996, but since then others have been discovered and sometimes are grouped together as non-classical hereditary hemochromatosis, non-HFE related hereditary hemochromatosis, or non-HFE hemochromatosis. Cirrhosis of the liver, varies from zonal iron deposition to fibrosis. Diabetes due to selective iron deposition in pancreatic islet beta cells leading to functional failure and cell death, cardiomyopathy, arthritis, from calcium pyrophosphate deposition in joints. The most commonly affected joints are those of the hands, particularly the knuckles of the second and third fingers, testicular failure, bronzing of the skin. This deep tan color, in concert with insulin insufficiency due to pancreatic damage, is the source of a nickname for this condition, bronze diabetes. Joint pain and bone pain. Most types of hereditary hemochromatosis have autosomal recessive inheritance, while type 4 has autosomal dominant inheritance. There are several methods available for diagnosing and monitoring iron loading, including Serum ferritin testing is a low-cost, readily available, and minimally invasive method for assessing body iron stores. However, the major problem with using it as an indicator of iron overload is that it can be elevated in a range of other medical conditions unrelated to iron levels including infection, inflammation, fever, liver disease, kidney disease, and cancer. Also, Total iron binding capacity may be low, but can also be normal. The standard of practice in diagnosis of hemochromatosis was recently reviewed by P. Trangelo. Positive HFE analysis confirms the clinical diagnosis of hemochromatosis in asymptomatic individuals with blood tests showing increased iron stores or for predictive testing of individuals with a family history of hemochromatosis. The alleles evaluated by HFE gene analysis are evident in 80% of patients with hemochromatosis, a negative report for HFE gene does not rule out hemochromatosis. In a patient with negative HFE gene testing, elevated iron status for no other obvious reason, and family history of liver disease, additional evaluation of liver iron concentration is indicated. In this case, diagnosis of hemochromatosis is based on biochemical analysis and histologic examination of a liver biopsy. Assessment of the hepatic iron index is considered the gold standard for diagnosis of hemochromatosis. Magnetic resonance imaging is emerging as a non-invasive alternative to accurately estimate iron deposition levels in the liver as well as heart, joints, and pituitary gland. Serum ferritin, in males and postmenopausal females, 
a serum ferritin value of over 300 ng ml indicates iron overload. In premenopausal females, a serum ferritin value of over 150 or 200 ng ml indicates iron overload, liver biopsy, HFE, MRI. First degree relatives of those with primary hemochromatosis should be screened to determine if they are a carrier or if they could develop the disease. This can allow preventive measures to be taken. Screening the general population is not recommended. Hemosiderosis is hemochromatosis caused by excessive blood transfusions, that is, Hemosiderosis is a form of secondary hemochromatosis. Hemosiderosis is hemosiderin deposition within cells, while hemochromatosis is hemosiderin within cells and interstitium. Hemosiderosis is iron overload that does not cause tissue damage, while hemochromatosis does. Hemosiderosis is arbitrarily differentiated from hemochromatosis by the reversible nature of the iron accumulation in the reticuloendothelial system. Causes Routine treatment in an otherwise healthy person consists of regularly scheduled phlebotomies. When first diagnosed, the phlebotomies may be fairly frequent until iron levels can be brought to within normal range. Once iron and other markers are within the normal range, treatments may be scheduled every other month or every three months depending upon the underlying cause of the iron overload and the person's iron load. A phlebotomy session typically draws between 450 to 500 cubic centimeters whole blood. For those unable to tolerate routine blood draws, there is a chelating agent available for use. The drug deferoxamine binds with iron in the bloodstream and enhances its elimination in urine and feces. Typical treatment for chronic iron overload requires subcutaneous injection over a period of 8-12 hours daily. Two newer iron chelating drugs that are licensed for use in patients receiving regular blood transfusions to treat thalassaemia are deferoxyrox and deferiprone. Affected individuals over age 40 or who have high serum ferritin levels are at risk for developing cirrhosis. Iron overload increases the risk of hepatocellular carcinoma. This risk is greater in those with cirrhosis but is still present in those without cirrhosis. Significant problems occur in around 1 in 10. It is most common in certain European populations and occurs in 0.6% of the population. Men with the disease are 24 times more likely to experience symptoms than affected women. Historically, the term hemochromatosis was initially used to refer to what is now more specifically called hemochromatosis type 1. Currently, hemochromatosis is mostly defined as iron overload with a hereditary or primary cause, or originating from a metabolic disorder. However, the term is currently also used more broadly to refer to any form of iron overload thus requiring specification of the cause, for example, hereditary hemochromatosis. Hereditary hemochromatosis is an autosomal recessive disorder with estimated prevalence in the population of 1 in 200 among patients with European ancestry, with lower incidence in other ethnic groups. The gene responsible for hereditary hemochromatosis is located on chromosome 6. The majority of hereditary hemochromatosis patients have mutations in this HFE gene. Hereditary hemochromatosis is characterized by an accelerated rate of intestinal iron absorption and progressive iron deposition in various tissues. This typically begins to be expressed in the third to fifth decades of life, but may occur in children. The most common presentation is hepatic cirrhosis in combination with hypopituitarism, cardiomyopathy, diabetes, arthritis, or hyperpigmentation. 
Because of the severe sequelae of this disorder if left untreated, and recognizing that treatment is relatively simple, early diagnosis before symptoms or signs appear is important. In general, the term hemosiderosis is used to indicate the pathological effect of iron accumulation in any given organ, which mainly occurs in the form of the iron storage complex hemosiderin. Sometimes, the simpler term sideroses is used instead. Primary hemochromatosis Secondary hemochromatosis Other definitions distinguishing hemochromatosis or hemosiderosis that are occasionally used include Diagnosis Screening Treatment Prognosis Epidemiology Terminology